So in this lab session, we will create an intent which will open up a second activity. The intent also passes a message on to second activity. So it works like this. So we have this main activity here uh, which has a button in it and when you click on that, it will open the second activity and it displays the message hello from main activity which is sent from the main activity. So let's get started. So I have opened the to do project. So if you want to follow along with me, please download the to do project from the GitHub. Uh, the link to the GitHub is in the description. So this project has all the to do's here. So you can go to this tab and he, here you can see all the steps which we will do during this exercise. So when you click on this to do, you will go to that area where you need to add some code to implement an intent and open up a new activity. So this project has two activities, main activity, and second activity. So the main activity consists of a button and on click of that button, it should create an intent and opens up the second activity. It should also pass a message to the second activity. So let's first come to to do and the first step to do is to create an intent. So the first step is to create the intent object. So we create the intent object here using the intent constructor. So it has two parameters. So the first parameter is the context. So in this case, I pass this keyword, which refers to this particular class as the context. And then we have the second activity. So this second activity is defined here. So in this, project we have main activity and second activity so in the as, a, as the second parameter i am using the second activity so this is the activity which i have to open so if you wanted to open a separate activity like for example third activity then you would be passing here third activity and then the next step is to put some extra message so do that by using the put extra method which accepts two parameters the message which is nothing but the key or name of the message so i have named the key of the message as message in this case and the value is hello from main activity so whenever you want to access this message you have to use this keyword the message keyword Okay, so you could name this as uh, anything like message from main activity or anything as you want. Okay, and then the final step is to start the activity using this intent. So for that, we use the start activity method and pass the intent we just created here in these two steps. We are done with all the steps which are needed to create the intent and start the activity using that particular intent. And also please note that I have written all this code inside the button on click listener. So now let's go to the second activity and add the steps to receive the intent and access the message from the intent and display it onto the text view let's go here so the first step is to get the intent inside the second activity first we create a bundle and this bundle we assign with the intent dot extras so basically what we are doing here is that this intent object contains all the messages or extra messages we have put when we created this intent so if you remember in the main activity we use this step to put extra this message right so this will be available with this intent dot extras so this bundle basically will contain this particular message key and this value so now in the next step we created one message string basically and use this bundle dot get string of message okay so we have used the same key which we have given in the main activity in the second activity 
and in the final step we create a reference to the text view which is defined in the second activity so if you click on this you go to the xml file and in the xml file there is this text view this text view and this text for this text view we have given this id as text view so we are referencing referencing that here and we are creating and creating a reference object to that so that is text view now once that is done we use this object to set the text to this message and this message is nothing but the message which we retrieved using the scheme message so that means we are retrieving basically this value hello from main activity in the second activity okay so i hope it is very clear and now let's run it so here you go so if you click on show second activity it shows the second activity hello from main activity